there everyone! In this vlog I am going to share some things that happened during this season. As you can see here, we are repainting the kitchen tiles. This is because the paint was kind of scratching off after every time we had to clean the wall and we didn't put any lacquer or varnish yet, so this is the time to do that. We are only using water-resistant paint, commonly used for bathroom and kitchen walls. And then we will be adding a layer of lacquer to preserve the colors for longer. Let me show you how the kitchen looked like before. Since we moved here in January this year, we built our space little by little. We wanted to be surrounded by colors. So we painted the kitchen in a kind of lavender blue, but we also wanted to highlight the tiles in some way. This is how we came up with the geometric shapes and the colors that we had as leftovers after painting the walls of the house. And this is the result. We're super happy now and we believe they look cool. Adding colors to our house have also another purpose. As you may know, I came from Mexico and I am used to the colors and the sunlight every day of the year. I moved here two years ago to study a master's degree in fine arts and I married my husband Avert last year. Since then, I had to look for a substitute for the sunlight every winter when the days get shorter. I believe that being surrounded by colors help me feel more at home. I wanted to leave a shout out in this vlog about the next videos I will be uploading soon. is going to be about how to add gold leaf on Giclée Fine Art prints. And another video will be about the process of making my most recent Madonna. If you feel curious, just subscribe and hit the bell to get notifications every time I upload a video so you can be the first one to watch them. Season, I also felt really inspired with the October skies at sunrise and sunset. I wanted to apply some tonalities in my paintings during these months and in the long term perhaps explore abstract art with them. To better study the autumn tonalities, I not only took pictures of the sky and the landscape, but I also went to collect materials to capture their colors later in my studio. The colors that I found here are different from the colors of the leaves of the trees in Mexico City. For instance, these red star leaves are not very common to find there. so much attention before to the purple tones that I could also find here, like in these strange branches that look like a nervous system with small eyes on them, kind of curious. might sound silly for many of you, but I was really amazed to find this kind of plant that I only knew before as plastic Christmas decorations. Instead, in many forests and mountains in Mexico we can find this kind of conifera. And that made me remember when I used to go on a hike there. kind 
of leaves that I learned later that were called Jinko or something like that and I really like them. The shapes look like small feathers or butterfly wings. Autumn in the Netherlands is much more windy than any other season of the year. I liked to see the effects of light sparkling on leaves or the branches of trees like cobwebs in the sky. fascinating to see the fragmented forms of the trees in the reflection of the water in movement, I guess. some of the samples that I picked up in the park so that I could later dry them and use them for decorations. I preferred to bring home some samples of the plants I saw because photography can change its real tones with the light. So it is better if we have the real material at hand to get colors better. I am trying to experiment more with abstract art, the composition of colors, and new themes. In the video tour of my sketchbook, you can see that I did something like that during the Inktober challenge, and also in some other paintings that I was commissioned during the month. And continue to be amazed by the color of autumn, I took this video one morning that was glowing gold in the sky. It was like, I don't know how to express that feeling, but it felt super beautiful. So a friend gave me this idea of um, recording some bits of my everyday life and then trying to see how that affects my artistic production. And I am doing this vlog to give that a try. So it's going to be like a experiment stage I guess. I hope to keep uh, uploading more videos in the future but for now I was very happy to share with you how was the remodelation of the house going, how my artistic projects were doing since I, starting, I started them <laughs> uh, the spring this year and also how am I doing living in a foreign, foreign country so yeah, I almost forgot to mention that in autumn also I got my visa and I can stay here in the Netherlands until the year 2023 at least. I will have to present an examination about writing, listening, speaking and learning about Dutch society. So it's going to be interesting and after I pass that examinations um, my visa is going to renew for another, I don't know how many years, maybe another five or seven. And I hope that next year I can start my courses for doing that and I just begin to adopt this culture as my own and mix it with my Mexican roots. So yeah, let's see what happens. And yeah, the last part of the video is going to be about um, how Avert and I celebrated our first wedding anniversary. It was um, an amazing day because we just took it super easy going and relaxed. We had delicious food to eat and we gave each other gifts uh, based on the theme for that first year, that it's paper. Ah, and we decided to take a picture uh, to remember that day and we are going to do that every anniversary to see how we change over time and it's going to be fun so if you want to check that out 
uh, you are free to do so if uh, if not then it's okay just I want to thank you to keep to watch this video and I hope that if you feel interested in knowing something more or just to connect with your own interests art, art interests just leave it in the comments below and I would be very happy to connect with you and to check your projects of art too or yeah just to get in contact it would be super nice and yeah that's for all so I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed recording it and editing it um, for the first vlog that I made it was um, a challenge but I hope that the next vlogs would be easier to do and well let's see what happens so take care and bye and this is the idea that I had to celebrate our paper anniversary. I designed and printed this album with photographs that we took during the remodeling work of the house. I printed the photos with the record of how it looked like before and how it looks now, with other images of the process in between. It seemed like a special gift to celebrate our first anniversary of marriage because it was a project that we transformed together during this year and that it's still under construction yet. <laughs> <laughs>